Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back with another recording of Sam and Max Season 2, Episode 4. Let us continue. Let's talk to Super Bowl. Did we ask for help with our case? Which case is that, sir? The one with all the time traveling! There's no such thing as time travel, sir. Of course not. Hey, look, Max. It's Agent Superball. You were saying something, sir. But... Very good, sir. Be seeing you, Superball. Okay, so I need, like, some mirrored glasses. I think that would work. I stopped using this once I realized we don't actually use files. If I could get some reflective surface. Something. Anything. Reflective. There's nothing good on. Or bad on, for that matter. Max had to hang up his halo. Let's see. So we'll just go through all the areas and there's obviously something we've missed. We've completely missed something somewhere. Try to talk to everybody. Bye, Miss B. Is there guns in the store? What if we just... Hmm. It's gonna be tough getting used to you as a sleazy Lothario, Max. I can already feel it fading, bro. I mean, Sam. I bet that by next month, I'll be completely back to normal. Hmm. Why are we here? Good question. What are we doing here in the past again? Aren't we trying to get Bosco back to the way we've always known him? Oh, that's right. And why are we doing that again? Well, it beats having to think up new insults. How are you enjoying the 60s, Max? I want to get out of here before they start swinging, Sam. Hang loose, Max. That's the only way I know how to hang. So I didn't mean to click on him at all. Let's click. Shoot. Better not. Yeah, it's the same, same every time, isn't it? Baby needs spilt milk. Can we sample the spilt milk? I don't need a sample of that. And this sample doesn't work. No, I'm pretty sure Bosco's father wasn't a tar cake. And the egg won't work. Nope. Whee! Cold orange things you suck. Never go out of style. We can't sample that, right? I don't need a sample of that. And we can't sample this. I don't need a sample of that. There's no way to get back to normal Boscos. We don't need a sample of the wine bottle. It's the lousy Bosco house brand. Not worth sampling. Accounting desk. We're better to crunch numbers than in the john. Sink. Towel. Screwdriver on the towel. I really don't want to screw that. Thought maybe we needed to steal the towel. I think uh, this is the wrong area. All indications are pointing towards this not being Whee! the right place. Move on to the next one. We were just in intergalactic Please, there's nothing there I can think of. Let's go back to Stinky's. See if something changes there. I think we were here, but the problem is I kind of know I've been everywhere and I'm confused.
We have this mess here. It's our old pal, Bluster Blaster. Screwdriver. I really don't want to screw that. Let's see. Screwdriver on the jukebox. I really don't want to screw that. Here's a leather display. Check this out. It's from 1963, and it's signed by the president. My dearest Maxine, meet me tonight at Stinky's. Wear that dress I like, the one where I can see your... Holy, I didn't think they knew that word back then. The president's wife wasn't named Maxine. What is this, the Temperance League? Lighten up! Looks like this case has a screw loose. All right, so this is the issue here. Let's look at the devil's member. Another field. satisfied customer. So because I did not see this, I Max, distract Stinky for me. Oh my God! Look, Stinky! Yeah, what? What? Somebody's trying to break into your display case. Ah, real smooth, little buddy. So now we have the shocking leather. So with the shocking letter, we can go to be to the old Oval Office, get Super Bowl to spit, and get the spit to restore Bosco. This is the total problem with point-click adventure games. It's just, I don't even know how you fix it. But it seems to always be the case. There's always, like, at least a handful of issues where you just don't see the items. There's, you don't find anywhere close to what you're looking for. Here we go. Show this to him. My dearest Maxine, meet me tonight. <laughs> Tender caresses down your <laughs> and a donkey. Love the prez. That's very shocking, sir. Where were they going to meet? Inside Stinky's diner. Stinky's? I can't believe the president would eat at Stinky's. I've lost all respect for the man. Alright, so he spits on the star pi pillow. We get that sample. Super Bowl. So now we go back and we restore Bosco. And I bet after we restore Bosco, that will unlock a whole chain of events so that we can interact more with uh, things. And I don't know, we might very well end the episode too. That is a possibility. So here's Super Bowl sample in the open sample. Time stream altered. Check us. Hmm. So let's go back home now. Hello, fool, Mr. President Fool. Hmm, I suspect we got the wrong dad, Max. Interesting. Let's talk to Bosco. Bosco. No, it's Bosco. So, Bosco, we'll see are you feeling like yourself? Of course, sir. Never better. Don't worry, Bosco. We'll get you back to normal. Thank you, fool. I suggest you hurry. Ugh. Even when he's riding us, he's too polite. It's unnerving. Can't you give us any more details on your father? It's straightforward enough, fool. I was a test tube baby, first in the country. No idea who'd make a spit donation to your mom? No more cracks about my mama, Mr. President, or I'll have to ask you to step outside. Hmm. How are we going to get off this spaceship? Hadn't given it much thought, sir. Don't you care about T-H-E-M coming back to kill you? Not really, sir. 
I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. I don't like Bosco like this, Max. We've got to get him back to his paranoid self. We'll see you around, Bosco. So, we've made some progress. Just not enough. I want to come over here and change the settings. Hmm. It's not an option anymore. Interesting. Number 50 is gone. So long. Get lost, failure. So he will be insulting for the rest of the game, it seems like. Let's go ahead and carbonate. Moscow already scanned himself with this thing. And let's go ahead and sample. I can't think of any part of Bosco that I'd want to carry around with me. Looks like some kind of weird alien radio. Hmm. So let's go back to our current time and see if this changes anything. With the... 40 year old Super Bowl. 40 years later, Super Bowl. Be seeing you, Super Bowl. Hmm. We didn't get any new items. Let's see. Egg. Ceremonial or no. No way. Nope. Let's go back to the future office, I guess. I just don't understand what we really accomplished there. Let's talk to Future Max. Nothing changed. So long. It's Bosco's model volcano, safely sealed up. Oh, because it's sealed up, the bulletin board is not Looks wet. Looks like our anymore. trusty bulletin board is still in good shape. Which means... What? Doesn't mean Looks anything. Looks like our trusty bulletin board is still in good shape. It, because we looked at the poster... Even, Not much use for this anymore. Even when it was all wet because of the model volcano. That entire puzzle was not necessary, it seems like. Let's go back to Bosco's and talk to the mother. Because that, this is, it doesn't make any sense. If that's not the sample, then what was the sample? Where'd you get the father's sample? Oh, him. Well, I was just in Washington, D.C. for a special occasion, and when I was touring the White House, I met a nice man in a dark suit. He was polite and didn't say much. Seemed like his spit was as good as anybody else's, so I picked him. Bye, Miss B. So, a nice man in a dark suit. Hmm. That didn't work, though, super. Let's go to our office for a second here. I'm just right back at it. I am just right back at it. I'm sure there's 
something I've missed. But yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Let's try the portable AI with Super Bowl. Nope. And the tar cake sample. Nah. Super Bowl. All points bulletin. We need a new bulletin. Unless we just put the egg on Max's Not desk. Happening. That doesn't make sense. Nothing doing. So we have our current office and our future office. We have Stinkies and we have Bosco's time card. Um, let's go back to Stinkies. It seems like we end up going to Stinkies a lot. We have that mess right there that seems to have no Nothing. Let's talk to Stinky. Hope you're still not holding a grudge about that tar cake business. I hold on to grudges like a man pushed overboard holds on to a ship's rail, clinging to it with bleeding fingers as the one thing saving him from a fatal plunge into the briny abyss. Uh, we missed you, Stinky. What's next for you in the post tar cake portion of your career? So you can steal that idea too. Run along, Pooch. I'm doing things with barely edible food that will create a brave new world. A world doubled over in pain, rushing for the nearest bathroom. So long, Stinky. So we just gotta talk to Max, I think. We, we, we're gonna have to go to each area and talk to Max. Or... Let's see. This place is dead. Let's leave our mark on the past. Let's leave a note for ourselves in the future. I've been teaching the various cultures and strains growing underneath the counter to spell out my name. The place is kind of empty without us in here. She may be a soulless grandpa murderer, but you gotta admit, girls think he's got more flair with the knickknacks. Remember all those wild and wacky trends and events from the 80s, Max? Do I? What was the deal with those jodhpurs and powdered wigs we all wore? The Louisiana Purchase. What were we thinking? Cotton gins? <laughs> I mean, really. Fellini Satyricon became the voice of a generation. The Smoot Holly Tariff Act. Crazy! <laughs> wow, we're not very good at this nostalgia business, are we? It may not seem like that now. Smell you later, homeboy. Totally. Let's see. Um, so it doesn't feel like Stinky's is the right place. Let's move on to the next location. Back to the Oval Office. We're just going to talk to to Max and every single one, trying to get whatever hint we need. Hopefully the game will eventually decide to give it to us. The Oval Office looks the same in our time as it did back in the 60s. Yeah, I was hoping you'd take that as a challenge from the other First Ladies, but you just never stepped up to the plate. I wonder who Mama Bosco's spit donor could be. This is crazy, sexy Washington, D.C. at the beginning of a cultural revolution, Sam. I bet there's more spitting going on than at a wine tasting. Oh, wait. Here's an envelope. Super Bowl's as unshakably rock solid and dependable as ever. I think he needs a hug. Go to it, Sam. Ask me again in about 50 years. Hang loose, Daddy O. Right on. So we have the envelope now. The chemical sampler on the envelope. Should be plenty of DNA rich spit left on this envelope. The president's a very thorough licker. So. 
JFK might be the president. Let's go back to Bosco's and change Bosco again. The envelope was just sitting there. We saw it in the animation getting thrown at us, but it wasn't clear enough. It should have been thrown in the floor Whee! or handed back to you, to you. Something not as obvious as just, or as hidden as on the desk. Time stream altered, jackass. So now the president is the father of Bosco instead of Super Bowl. So we go back home and see how Bosco is then. He's back to Yay! normal. Hey, Bosco's back to his old gruesome self. Took you fools long enough. There, Sam and Max. Now you've seen just how dangerous it is to mess with T-H-E-M. Dangerous? All that stuff we just fixed was your fault. Shut up! All right, let's go home. How do we get out of here? They know we're here! Relax, Bosco. You're gonna have a coronary. Yeah, they're probably the grotesque but misunderstood kind of aliens who just come to Earth because they hate cows and fields of weed. Well, you two go first. Crossing 98% complete. Prepare to deliver on my mark. <gasps> it's, it's T-A-T-M! Oh, benvenidos, amigos. What are you guys doing here? We can explain everything, quickly and simply. No, that is not our way. <coughs> <coughs> has had a heart attack. Oh well. Begin the soul crouching. So, as I was saying, we had to sit and stare at nothing for one thousand years straight. Help me, Sam and Mac! Okay, so the song gag in the first season was very funny. The song gag here is completely forced and not very funny. As I just sat, let you sit there and listen to it. Uh, 
the old mariachi gag that's been running through here that was supposed to just be a one-off thing has not paid off in an interesting way they've literally just made the most ridiculous combination of explanations as to how we've got to this point and what's going on and now we've got to save Bosco's soul let's see bridge button attempt to enter soul crushing area please acknowledge override captain pedro arriba burro chipotle voice print match bridge override accepted i had a feeling those mariachis wouldn't just stand by and let us take bosco's soul back it may look like a zebra but my mexican friends assure me it's a donkey in zebra clothing So we can't just go back to the bridge. Bosco's corpse. Poor Bosco. The horror of time-traveling mariachis was too much for his weak heart to bear. No siree. Not happening. No way. Nothing doing. Nope. Nuh-uh. No siree. So we have the windstorm. Moai heads. Maybe that will be something. I guess we could probably scan the old mariachi. The birth dater doesn't work on these guys for some reason. Hey, a portable birthday checker. Pretty clever. How come it doesn't work on you? The mariachi can never have a birthday for himself. It is our curse. Alright. Time controls. Looks like some weird clock. It can take hundreds of years to cross a soul, senor. So we make the time vortex to speed things along. Well, we have an egg. Nah. Let's give the egg to Bosco's soul. I don't know why. Maybe I'll make a dinosaur. No siree. Man, I walked all that way just so he says no. Uh, portable AI? No way. Let's talk to Bosco Soul, maybe? What are you guys doing here? We were picked up right after the volcano erupted. Obviously, it was a signal flare for the carvers to come get us. See, we're not so good with the direction. How you doing, Bosco? You gotta help me out, guys. They're really bringing me down. And then, in 1158, oh, there was that monkey that just kept on pooping. <sighs> so, we have no clue right now. We, we're stuck in this room, I think. I don't think we can exit, but we are really just now in this completely different puzzle. It's rather confusing, and hopefully we will be able to figure out the solution next time, and we'll probably end this episode, and hopefully it tries to wrap up something a little bit better. I would have really liked at this moment there for them to have been a very clever very slightly hinted at ingenious combination of everything up to this point but this is not an ingenious combination of the elements for the previous episodes this is an insane ridiculous combination of events from the previous events which just puts the story another notch up on the crazy just crazy more for crazy sake and eh, I, I don't appreciate it enough it, it it's so ungrounded from reality it's hard to even come close to relating to it but anyways that's going to be it for this recording as always i ask you to like share subscribe comment if you want to and watch every second of my videos all that helps me out 
if you want to support me you can click on my name Rido on the right will be a blue button that says support this channel click it make a donation and if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below thank you for watching have a good evening